And so when we have a lot of soul fragmentation, really what it is, is that we've left pieces of ourselves connected to other people, other places, and we begin to feel lost within ourselves. So today... Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Iris and in today's video, I want to talk about some signs, six signs actually, that will indicate to you that your soul is fragmented. And what I mean by soul fragmentation is that you leave little bits and pieces of yourself with the people and experiences that you have in life. And so what happens in our life is we go along and we do life and we have relationships and we have these experiences and some of the experiences are really good and some of the experiences are not so really good and some of them are just downright <clears throat> heartbreaking and traumatic. And so when we have a lot of soul fragmentation, really what it is, is that we've left pieces of ourselves connected to other people, other places, and we begin to feel lost within ourselves. So today, that's what I want to talk about. And hopefully um, this video helps you. So let's get started. Um, number one is you use drugs or alcohol to escape the reality of your life. And this is a big one. And it's a big one for a couple of different reasons. The first reason is that in today's society, alcohol is one of those drugs that is really just accepted as something that we that we do it is surrounded um, by community it's surrounded on by food it's it's part of our social gatherings and that's fine except that that's not fine for everybody and it becomes a real problem so for example if you are in a relationship where it's just destroying you. It's toxic. It's there's always fighting and you're not on the same page and there's violence and and abuse. And then you go towards alcohol to try to escape. That then becomes a real problem. And there's a, a, a real big difference between um, drinking alcohol socially and using it to numb out and not want to feel what you're feeling so when you are trying to escape your life whether it's you know drugs or alcohol that you're using just know that there is something deeper within yourself there's a soul piece of yourself that has been left not only as part of this relationship because I find that when we become part of these types of relationships there is something deeper within us that has uh, allowed us to be in these types of situations so there's a soul piece of yourself that is somewhere else other than with you in wholeness so number two is that you feel lost and disconnected from yourself and that you don't really know where you belong. And this is a very interesting one because there are going to be times in your life where you do feel disconnected from your life. And it's really a confusing time because in these situations, you don't quite know where you belong. So that's one part of it. But the other part of it is that you, you've you lost who you are. And again, this happens 
quite often in relationships and but not just relationships but quite often in relationships where we become so immersed in the roles that we're playing within the relationships um, either as a wife as a mother um, even as a father and being a provider for the family we have to take on these roles and responsibilities and we we tend to get lost in the relationship we get tend to get lost in the role of that relationship and that can be that can be like a real disconnect because we disconnect from the things that we like and the things that we want for ourselves because we're giving so much of ourselves into the situation that we're in and this can also incidentally happen in a work environment where you give so much of yourself to your career and to advance in your career that you actually sacrifice parts of your soul to get ahead. Point number three is you feel defeated and you've lost confidence in yourself. And this is a really big one that a lot of people struggle when they have this these types of hardships in life and where where you're working so hard to achieve something or work towards something and for some reason somebody just comes along or something comes along and just kind of squashes you back down into place and you do that enough times and you're you become you feel defeated and you feel um, you do lose confidence in who you are this also I'm going to equate this back to relationships again is when you are in a dynamic in a relationship where there's not um, a strong bond where you're both helping each other evolve into the greatest versions of yourself and supporting each other to to be, to each other's greatness not to be confused with it's the responsibility of the other person to make you great but the dynamic in some relationships is such that when they're in the relationship together both people being exactly who they are works for the other person and they elevate each other even higher up so let's say for example you're in a relationship in a dynamic where one person is really struggling in their life and you're giving so much of yourself to improve that person so that you guys can improve the relationship together but you find that the other person doesn't have confidence in themselves and it kind of holds you back in from moving forward in your own life and then together in the relationship and so what that does is it really defeats us and we lose confidence in ourselves and in our abilities as well and again we're going to cross that over into career as well and even into family relationships when you are doing a whole lot of giving and there's no progress or movement forward and we leave we are left feeling defeated we lose confidence in in ourselves and in the the situation and we can leave a little bit of fragmentation because we have invested so much of ourselves into that so tip number five is you've lost your zest for life and when you have lost your zest for life you have lost the joy in your life there is a, a huge disconnect within you and what your soul's purpose is and following that path to your soul's pur purpose and when you have lost your way and you feel lost in life there are little fragments here and there splattered all over the place and um, it can leave you feeling like um, lethargic and without purpose in life and it's a very defeating um, powerless feeling. So that is point number four. Point number five is you become overcome with emotion and feel depressed and overwhelmed. So this one particularly is, um, it's a spiral effect. You don't just 
wake up one day and become overwhelmed with emotion and and um, settle into depression. This one here is cumulative. So there are things that have been happening in your life already that you have been unhappy about and it's been really difficult for you to uh, change the things in your life that would cause you forward movement and more joy and fulfillment in your life. So this one here is, is a real big sign that there is there's a fragmentation of your soul. You've left something somewhere else and we've got to retrieve it back. And then the last one I have written down is you rely on others to tell you what to do versus trusting in yourself. And this goes through, um, this is part of having a real identity crisis and really not knowing who you are. In some cases, this, this is because a sense of who you are hasn't uh, been cultivated within yourself because you have been spending so much time focusing on <clears throat> other people and making them happy or walking on eggshells or trying to be everything for everybody and um, and doing so much sacrificing of yourself to acquiesce to the wants and needs of other people. So we never develop a real strong and healthy sense of self. And therefore, we never learn to trust ourselves. And therefore, we when we when it comes to life decisions and choices, whether they're small or big, you don't trust in your ability to make decisions and therefore rely on other people to tell you who you are, what you should be, what you should do, how to act, how to respond. And it's, and it's, um, that's real deep soul, um, disconnection and fragmentation. So I want to, to say overall is that there are going to be part points in your life that you will feel a disconnect from yourself and sometimes when they are so cumulative and you might resonate with one of these points or you might resonate with a whole bunch of these points but just know that that there is a way that you can retrieve all of these soul fragments and we call this the work we call this healing and we are on a healing journey and that healing is sometimes really painful i don't want to coat that at all that the work is it's deep and it's emotional and it's really really hard but it is doable and if you are needing some help and support in this area you can click the link below this video and you can book a consultation with me and uh, we'll see how we can work together if this video has resonated with you subscribe to my channel share this video like this video it really helps um, me grow my channel and reach more people and until the next video take good care be strong and be well